This is DLK Productions presenting my brand new 20th anniversary set, you guys. What's up, you guys? So today we are going to be doing a video on the clone Scout Walker. This is the 20th anniversary set. Uh, the number is 75261. And let's get on with you guys. So as you guys can see, I have the 20th anniversary set. And we're just going to start off with the characters. So we have a Wookiee Warrior. This is one of the very first Wookiees to not have a name, and it's just a Wookiee Warrior. So he has his normal, uh, the blaster that always comes with Wookiees, that, what they're famous for, if we'll actually focus on him. And I like his detailing, especially on his legs. Sorry about that, you guys. My lighting's not the best right now. But, yeah. So, that is very well done. Very nicely printed. Love the detail on him. This is the Wookiee Warrior. Then we have the Kashyyyk Trooper. And this is a normal Kashyyyk, Kashyyyk Trooper. Sorry about that. But the Kashyyyk Trooper is uh, the normal trooper that is on Kashyyyk, as you guys can see. And we have his angry face. The new clone angry face. And that's kind of normal for him now. For the clones now. And very nicely well done and detailed. Very nice. And yeah. So right here now we have the battle droid. We just have a normal battle droid. There is no specific battle droid. No changing of colors for the Kashyyyk battle droid. This is just a normal one you guys. And there's nothing really to, like, detail-wise for this character. Not much detail for this character. Just the normal battle droid itself. And now we have the 20th anniversary Darth Vader himself. So, guys, this is the Darth Vader. I don't have him personally, but I do have another character that most people do recognize. But I will show that in a minute. And this is the Darth Vader of all guys. There is his old face, the older version of his face, which not many people actually have. And then we have his front right there. We have his lightsaber and we have his cape. And as you guys well know, we have his famous face that they've recently come out with a new version of this. Is that this is the old version of it. I really like the old version. But I also like the new version of him. And it has the 20th anniversary. You guys. 20th anniversary right there you guys. As you guys can see. You have his cape. Very nicely well done. And yeah. And I have collected all of the 20th anniversary sets so far you guys. And you guys. Uh, when this first set came out. The 20th. Uh, not the 20th anniversary, but the first Clone Scout Walker. It comes with a certain character, and here he is, you guys. I ha I got the very first uh, Clone Scout Walker that came out, and this is the character himself with the blaster that you guys can see. Let's see if it will focus. There we go. And this is the Clone Trooper himself, and yeah, very very well love this i wish i could have made this set but i tore it apart uh, a few years ago so i haven't had the time or haven't found all the pieces to rebuild it so yeah we'll put him off to the side and we'll move all the characters and get on with the set so right here we have a spider droid and this is the new version of the spider droid and this is not my very favorite version of the spider droid. I personally just don't like this one. I like another one. And that is this. This one, you guys. Sorry about that. Is this spider droid. I personally just like it a tad bit better. But I do admit, I do like this that's top better. The only thing I dislike is this. This is the older version that just that were, was a few years old. I really do like that one, but this one is the stud shooter. It is a very movable, and especially the legs fall off are very touchy. So you got kind of got to be careful with them on it. 
and yeah, and these legs are movable. They are very movable, very easy, and I really do like the clear stud underneath, so the feet just automatically go down, and there is no, like, you don't have to figure out where it fits or works. I just really like with the clear piece on that. And then we'll move on to the barrier on this. On Kashyyyk, in the movie, it shows the barrier with Kashyyyk. And you have a turret right here. You have the Kashyyyk uh, barrier. And these are movable. That they can become a straight line. Or you can bend them. And they just become in multiple shapes. You can make them into multiple shapes. They're very portable. Very nicely well done. And, yeah, the turret goes with it very well. Nice well done, Lego, with that. And getting on to the normal, the set itself. So, we have the turret. We have the feet. And this is a not very good set for... It can be positioned one click back, I've heard. Is that it can only do one click back before it falls over unless you connect it to something. Which... Usually you don't connect it to it, but you can. If it's like in running position, it will fall over if the if it is any larger or higher than that. Then we just have some more detailing as we go up. We have the two antennas. Oops. And as you guys can see, it falls over easily anyway. And we have the antennas right there. And we just have the very nicely well designed. We have two stickers right up front. As you guys can tell, my lighting is a little, uh, it glares off it, and then very nicely well done. Uh, this is where the person sits, or the clone trooper, or whoever's driving it really sits. Go down, the very nicely well done designs, and we have the turret right here itself. This just goes back and forth. There is no up and down movement, so if a droid... Really, if a droid, for instance, goes from there to right here, it cannot shoot it. It will have to back up and then bend down and shoot it. Or it pretty much can just stomp on it and just demolish it. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.